Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Boeing prepares to transform MD-90 into X-66A. USAF selects Jet Zero to build BWB prototype. And Lost Hiker found with help from drones. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Boeing prepares to transform MD-90 into X-66A. Boeing is making ready to modify an MD-90 narrow-body airliner, transforming the machine radically for purpose of testing the company's transonic truss-braced wing architecture under the auspices of NASA's Sustainable Flight Demonstrator Project. Upon completion of an extensive series of structural modifications, the MD-90 will emerge as the X-66A. As Boeing, NASA, and community leaders gathered to recognize the milestone occasioned by the undertaking of the X-66A project, Boeing released photos of the MD-90's journey from Victorville to Palmdale, California. The X-66A is NASA's first full-size experimental airplane designed specifically to advance the international community's goal of net-zero aviation greenhouse gas emissions. Modification of the MD-90 will commence presently. Ground and flight testing are expected to begin in 2028. With ultra-thin wings braced by struts with larger spans and higher aspect ratios, the TTBW design and other expected technological advances could lead to reductions in fuel use and emissions by up to 30 percent. Boeing and NASA have collaborated for more than a decade on the concept through the subsonic ultra-green aircraft research program. Coming up after the break, Israeli strike forces Russian drone technicians to shelter in Iranian hotel. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Israeli strike forces Russian drone technicians to shelter in Iranian hotel. A group of Russians visiting Iran for purpose of gleaning instruction pertaining to drone manufacturing was compelled to shelter in a hotel during an Israeli strike on a munitions factory in the east central Iranian city of Isfahan. The Russian assemblage's visit to Isfahan evinces Moscow's ambition to establish a drone production facility in Russia with the help of on-again, off-again Russian ally Iran. Specifically, Moscow aspires to facilitate Russian domestic production of a variant of Iran's Shahed 136 drone, known colloquially as the Garand 2. Eve Evital and DHL join hands for supply chain concept. Eve Air Mobility signed an MOU with DHL for the study of, quote, key demands and supply chain characteristics, end quote, surrounding the former's electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft operation in use for the latter's cargo and logistics business. The partnership, however limited in scope, aims to, quote, explore and understand best practices for supplying operators and service centers with spare parts and inputs, end quote, with particular focus placed on batteries. Powering the EVE and all other EVTOLs for that matter remains a glaring issue to contend with for operators looking to run their aircraft around the clock. AEA releases 2023 Quarter 2 Avionics Market Report. AEA has released its second quarter 2023 Avionics Market Report. In the first six months of the year, total worldwide business and general aviation avionics sales amounted to more than $1.6 billion as reported by participating companies. Second quarter sales increased 5.9% sequentially from the first quarter of 2023. 
During the second quarter months of April, May, and June, sales increased 16.2 percent compared to the same time frame one year ago. NBAA weighs in on milestone AAM efforts. NBAA has addressed two initiatives broadly believed critical to the safe, timely, and successful integration of advanced air mobility into the U.S. national airspace. Advanced air mobility is defined generally as an air transport system concept comprising new transformational aircraft designs and flight technologies into existing and modified airspace operations. The NBAA's comments, as informed by the association's AAM Roundtable and Emerging Technology Committee, provide direction to government agencies vis-a-vis proposals potentially impacting pilots, manufacturers, infrastructure developers, and other aerospace stakeholders. Well, that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. USAF selects Jet Zero to build BWB prototype. Jet Zero has benefited from a U.S. Air Force award of $235 million to build an airliner-scaled, piloted, blended wing body technology demonstrator in partnership with Northrop Grumman and Scaled Composites. The funds will be distributed over a four-year period, culminating presumably in a 2027 first flight. The planned aircraft will be assembled at Scaled Composites' Mojave, California facility and powered ostensibly by a pair of Pratt & Whitney PW100 series geared turbofan engines. Initial reports suggest the demonstrator's completion will require additional capital beyond the $235 million award from the U.S. DoD Innovation Unit. Though not ascribed officially to the USAF's next-generation air refueling system, the Jet Zero demonstrator will likely inform the design of such. The DIU's initial solicitation to industry for a BWB demonstrator was made in July 2022. Additional details germane to the machine specifications and objectives were spelled out in the Air Force's Climate Action Plan. The Air Force stated, quote, The effort aims to mature BWB technology and demonstrate its capabilities, giving the department and commercial industry more options for future air platforms, end quote. The BWB demonstrator will depart radically from the tube and wing orthodoxy characteristic of legacy aircraft designs, comprising instead a modified flying wing architecture expected to reduce drag by upwards of 30 percent while improving lift. And coming up after these messages, lost hiker found with help from drones. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Lost hiker found with help from drones. An 18-year-old hiker gone missing in North Carolina's Crowder's Mountain State Park was rescued by Gaston County police officers, park rangers, his fellow hikers, and a number of drones. The young man was reported missing on Wednesday, August 16th, and may have spent the night in the wilderness. So infer park rangers who happened across his vehicle in the state park's parking lot and commenced searching immediately thereafter. A short while after the search commenced, a drone located the missing hiker in a remote area of the park high on the mountain, far from established trails and perilously close to a 30 to 40 foot sheer drop. Scott Lambert of the Gaston County Police Department remarked it was, quote, a pretty substantial cliff, very, very rocky area, end quote. Lambert stated the lost teen was incapable of getting down from the precipice on his own, adding the drone had been indispensable to the rescue effort insofar as crews used the device to signal the rescue team, by which the young man was returned to safety. Lambert explained, albeit somewhat cryptically, quote, Give the ability for EMS to see the drone images to give a patient assessment and a plan for a rescue off the mountain, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.